simplify the quadratic 36x less than 6x squared. So what I need to do here is divide both sides by 6. 36 divided by 6, I get 6x less than 6x squared divided by 6, I get x squared. Now I need to move 6x or take away 6x from both sides. So I get 0 is less than x squared minus 6x. It's a bit like saying 0 is less than 2, which is true. 0 is less than 2. Therefore, 2 is greater than 0. So likewise here, 0 is less than x squared minus 6x. Therefore, x squared minus 6x is greater than 0. So that's what we need to do now. We need to solve this. Um, two ways we can solve it. We will I'll do two ways. So one is to solve it using the algebraic method and the other way is to solve it using graphical method. So with the algebraic method I'm going to take x out as a common factor and I get x minus 6 is greater than 0. x is greater than 0. x minus 6 is also greater than 0, which implies that x is greater than 6. So I have x greater than 6. So let's, let's solve this now graphically. So I'm going to draw my graph here. That's my y-axis. I draw my x-axis on this side. Just to remind us, the y-axis, equation of the y-axis is x equal to 0. And the equation of the x-axis is y equal to 0. My solutions are 0 and 6 because x is greater than 0 and x is greater than 6. So this point is 0 and I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here. So my graph is going through 0 and 6. A is positive and therefore uh, the turning point, I could find the turning point if I wanted to, uh, the turning point would be at x equals minus b over 2a which is b is minus 6 well b is minus 6 so minus minus 6 over 2a a is 1 a is 1 b is minus 6 so over 2 which is plus 6 over 2 and that equals 3 so at turning point is halfway through here. It's also the line of symmetry. I could find the y value when x is 3, or I could have done completing the square on that in the way to solve it. Um, the y value would be if I put x back into the function. So I get 9 minus, nine minus uh, 3 times 6 is 18. which is minus 9. So that's y value. y is minus 9. So if, if I have, say, this is minus 9, and that's x, so that would be the turning point here. So if I do that, that means I'm turning there, right? It's a minimum. And then go through 6. So that's x equals 6 there. And I go through 0. And x equals 3 there. And the line of symmetry is 
if I had to draw the line of symmetry here, it would be that one here, x equals 3. Because that also tells me the line of symmetry and the turning point. So that would be x equals 3. So that's how you sketch that. Now you can see the question is saying that that equation, the, the curve, the parabola is x squared minus 6x. And we want when x squared minus 6x is greater than 0, you can see where it's greater than 0. It's greater than 0 at not equal to 0, but greater from, so I draw the circle there, that's where it's greater than 0. And also, if I draw a circle here, you can see the y value here is greater than 0 from there, which means it's greater than 0 from there, and it's greater than 0 from there. So where is it greater than 0 when x is less than 0? That's when the y value is greater than 0 x has to be less than 0 and x is greater than 6 so my solution is that it's greater than 0 it's greater than 0 at x less than 0 and x greater than 6 so we go the x is greater than 6 here but the confusion with this was the fact that we've got greater than 0. It's actually x less than 0. Or x less than 0 or a greater than 6. To write the set notation, we would write the curly bracket x colon we've got x less than 0 close curly bracket union open curly bracket union means all and x colon x greater than 6 close curly bracket so that's the set notation for the x values x values are called domain and the y values are called range. Mm -hmm.